His short life will be living death. For weeks, Flores lay motionless in his cradle hewn from red cedar by his father. But his mother, Martha, refused to give up. She believed in the power of God and the power of nature. She incorporated many herbal brews into his diet and she learned that she had learned from her mother and grandmother. She massaged his little body over and over with oils and herbal concoctions. As long as he had breath, she had hope. She refused to accept her son's death warrant. The family made a decision to move to a farm in Moorhead, Iowa. The farm provided an opportunity to live as close to nature as possible. Forrest was fed a diet of natural foods from plants and herbs. He was exposed to clean air. His childhood was that of a convalescent. And finally, at the age of four, he sat up by himself for the very first time. His teen years were spent in the fields observing animals and their instincts as well as the cycles of nature. One of Forrest's famous quotes is, animals watch the signals and listen to the voice of nature while men have forgotten how to read or listen to them. Throughout this time, a question loomed in his mind. Why did I live and other children born with consumption die? He recognized it was his mother's love and commitment to immerse him in everything natural. He was a living testimony of nature's healing power. He was fascinated by the power in plants and began stabilizing minerals extracted from vegetables. When he was a teenager, his philosophy was born. This philosophy would eventually ch change the well-being of hundreds of thousands of lives. Living in harmony with nature became the fundamental principle in his life. This philosophy manifested itself in a product creed. I will never create a product that will harm one tissue cell in the body. By 1915, at age 21, he had created a product that contained concentrated nutrients and called it Vitalized Minerals. This was the first known vitamin product in the world 100 years ago. A few years before, Casimir Funk, a Polish biochemist, was also studying the isolation of natural substances from food called vitamins. Although much publicity in scientific circles were given to Casimir Funk's study of vitamins, Forrest had created the first known vitamin supplement in the world. So while World War I raged, Forrest Shackley created the first known supplement that began a revolution in natural health care as we know it today. 1950 marked another very important date for Forrest Shackley. He took keen interest in chiropractic studies. He believed that many secrets of human power lie in the spinal cord, the brain, and the nervous system. He studied under the first known chiropractor in the world, Dr. Daniel David Palmer, who had opened the very first chiropractic school in 1897. Forrest graduated from Palmer School of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa in June 1915 at the age of 21. He bought another chiropractor's practice for $1,000 and he set up practice in Rockwell City, Iowa. That December in 1915, at the age of 22, he married <laughs> Ruth Chapman, an accountant, a young girl he had met at church. Two years later, in November of 1917, their first son was born, Forrest Jr. One year later, in early 1918, at age 24, Forrest moved to Fort Dodge, Iowa and opened a health center. The health center incorporated a 15-bed sanatorium and 32 treatment rooms. Forrest hired a staff of chiropractors, osteopaths, internists, general practitioners, and surgeons. Forrest was the administrator. Forrest wanted to serve people within a 100-mile radius, so he knew Wilbur and Orville Wright, the two American brothers, inventors, and aviation pioneers who are credited with inventing and building the world's first successful airplane. So when the major mode of transportation was still horse and buggy, in order to serve patients within a 100-mile radius of, of Fort Dodge, that same year, Forrest bought a two-passenger Curtis airplane that could land in patients' fields. He was the first flying doctor in the state of Iowa and one of the first in the United States. At the clinic, Forrest spent a great deal of time in x-ray diagnosis. And at that time, the hazards of exposure to x-rays were not fully known. Three years later, by, age, or by 1921, at age 27, Forrest was suffering with severe ulcerated burns on his left shoulder and left hip as a result of radiation exposure. 
The Mayo Clinic diagnosed him with terminal cancer and offered amputation of the arm up to the shoulder and amputation of the leg up to the hip. So here he was, six years after creating the first known vitamin in the world, with a death sentence as a result of attempting to help other people regain their health. Forrest decided, cancer will not cut my life short and I will not become a helpless amputee. I will live, I will heal, I know I can do it. So he sold the clinic and he moved back to a farm in Davenport and began an intense program of nutrition from fresh food direct from the soil and supplemented his diet with large quantities of his own vitalized minerals. He also created a combination of nine herbs that had detoxifying benefits that he had learned from his mother as a child. Besides nutrients, he knew he needed support from nature to promote blood, liver, lymph, bowel, and cellular cleansing. That was the origin of Shackley Herblast, one of Shackley's most popular products still today. For several months, there was no improvement, but Forrest persevered. His mother's example had taught him well. That December, Forrest and Ruth's second son was born, Raleigh Lee, a brother for Forrest Jr. Finally, one year later, after consistent, excellent nutrition and massive supplementation, the ulcers finally stopped festering and healed over completely with healthy tissue. The Mayo Clinic acknowledged that a full and remarkable remission had been effected, but they refused to believe that it had anything to do with his diet and supplements. <laughs> Nine years after creating the first known vitamin in the world, in July 1924, at age 30, he moved to Mason City, Iowa, and he became the chief of staff of what was then the largest drugless clinic in the world. His formulations for food supplements were packaged and dispensed to all patients in need. When asked what he believed to be the greatest aid in restoring health to the patients, he replied, common sense, the most uncommon thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest continued studies in many areas close to his heart. In the mid-1920s, he received his degree of Doctor of Divinity and was ordained as a minister of the Church of Christ. January 1929, the Shackley Clinic burned to the ground. Forrest was 35 years old. All of his formulas went up in flames. However, <laughs> he had them in his head. <laughs> so he invented the first mobile home, and he decided to do some traveling with his family. <laughs> but then the stock market crashed, and he lost all of his investments, keeping only about a dime on every dollar. So he moved to Oakland, California, and he set up another clinic. Dr. Shackley was always a student, and in 1931, at the age of 37, he received his diploma as Dr. Naturopath. Ten years later, tragedy struck the Shackley family. In 1941, at the age of 47, Forrest was widowed. His wife, Ruth, while crossing a street, was struck by a young, drunk, uninsured driver. Then came the Second World War. Forrest Jr. joined the Army and Lee joined the Navy. Forrest continued practicing but became a licensed shortwave radio operator and trained radio operators for submarines. In 1943, at the age of 49, Forrest retired from the clinic and bought a 420-acre ranch in California, which he turned into a hunting lodge. Among different visitors who came to the lodge were Bob Hope and Andy Devine, for those of you with a little gray hair. <laughs> In 1945, he, said the lot, or he sold the lodge and continued his research and writing and preaching, and he became a renowned radio personality. As a result, people wanted his vitalized minerals. So 10 years later, in 1955, he called his two sons to a business meeting to see if they would be interested in going into business with him to distribute his supplements. Lee had reached great success in the insurance field, and Forrest Jr. owned an accounting business that was thriving. The two boys said yes, and they each invested $5,000. They established their first distribution center, and only six months later, on April 1st, 1956, Shackley Products became an entity with a 100% commitment to making products that improve the health of people without harming the planet. The company's slogan was, Products in harmony with nature and good health, and their operating motto was, do business by the golden rule. 
Dr. Shackley was in charge of product development and was the general manager. Forrest Jr. was the business manager and Lee was in charge of marketing and promotion. They had one very efficient office girl and the 100% inspiration and support of the wives of both Lee and Forrest Jr. Plus the dedication of a new flame in Dr. Shackley's life, Dorothy Potter, a medical secretary. The Shackleys put their heads together to design a unique business plan. They wanted their company to provide an unlimited opportunity to anyone who joined. They wanted their business plan to break down every barrier to success. The business plan they established allowed anyone, regardless of education, work experience, social status, financial background, age, sex, or race, to rise to the very top of the Shackley Sales Organization. They gave everyone a chance to dream. This was one of the first known network marketing companies based on the distributor's ability to teach others, to teach others, to teach others. All three men knew that success or failure was dependent upon the quality of their products. They pledged that unless a product was the finest of its kind on the marketplace, it would not be introduced. Dr. Shackley is known for his very famous quote, all I ever did was listen to nature and pass the word along. The company was founded with almost no assets but the absolute conviction of the Shackleys and a single high quality product. This was living proof that the American dream can still come true. On August 8, 1957, wedding bells rang across California as Dr. Shackley, at the age of 62, married Dorothy Potter. They took their vows in a very romantic moonlight ceremony on the shores of Lake Tahoe. Forrest remembers that during the ceremony, the waters lapped to the edge of the beach, getting his shoes thoroughly wet. And in typical Dr. Forrest humor, he said, in all the time that I've known my Dorothy, this was the only moment that I got cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> the first and only product that the company uh, was founded on was Pro Lesson Nibblers, soy protein and soy lecithin in a tablet. Later that year, Herb Lax was introduced and Liqua Lee was introduced to replace Dr. Shackley's original vitalized minerals. The following year, 1957, Vital Lee in tablet form was added to the product line. 1960, Basic H was introduced to the American marketplace. It was one of the first phosphate-free concentrated and biodegradable all-purpose cleaners. The focus on a green environment was born. Up until that point, the world knew green only as a color. In 1961, when, Ber when the Berlin Wall was being built, Forrest became the soy pioneer, the isolate pioneer, one of the first companies to create a soy isolate protein. Eight years after the company opened its doors, the first Shackley Convention was held in San Francisco with 150 sales leaders in attendance. It was 1964. In the 1970s, while halfway around the world, the Vietnam War raged on and took the lives of so many brave men, the Forrest C. Shackley Research Center was established in Hayward, California to further study how to preserve excellent health. This research center was active for 43 years. In April 1915, this year, it was replaced by a new research center to celebrate 100 years of innovative products. 1972, Shackley Products was renamed Shackley Corporation. That same year, Shackley introduced one of the first phosphate and <coughs> biodegradable laundry products. In 1973, Shackley Corporation became a publicly held company on the stock exchange. 1975, Shackley Japan was established. 1976, Shackley Canada was established. 1977, Shackley was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. They were gaining recognition as a major industry. Shackley provided the nutrition for the American Everest uh, expedition with Sir Edmund Hillary, the first mountain climber to reach the top of Mount Everest. Also in the 1980s, Shackley became the official nutritional consultant to the US ski team. In fact, today, Shackley products have been chosen by over 120 medal winners. Uh, and at least 10% of Team USA were using Shackley products in 2014 in Sochi. Each of these athletes understands the importance of premium quality nutrition. 1981, Shackley introduced the world's first plant-based sustained release delivery system for vitamin C. How did Shackley fit the vitamin C equivalent to 1,350 oranges in one little bottle? <laughs> 
1982, Shockley became a Fortune 500 company, one of the largest corporations in the world. For a company that had started with such humble beginnings, this was an amazing feat. 1986, Dr. Forrest C. Shackley died at the age of 91 years, leaving behind a legacy that had changed the lives and would continue to change the lives of millions of people. In 1986, Shackley served as the official nutritional consultant uh, to the first uh, nonstop airplane flight around the entire globe without refueling. <coughs> 1986, Shackley uh, Products provided nutrition for the first recorded expedition by dog sled to the North Pole, led by explorer Will Steger. 1989, 96, and 2007, Shackley funded and provided nutritional support to Will Steger for three other record-breaking polar expeditions that investigated global warming and melting ice caps. Sir Richard Branson, world adventurer and outspoken environmentalist, accompanied Will Steger in 2007 on the 1,200-mile expedition on Baffin Island. In 1988, when Canada hosted the World Olympic Games in Calgary, Shackley was making its own world record. Shackley Products powered the longest human-powered flight. This Dallas pilot pedaled a super lightweight plane 72 miles across a sea near Greece. Three and a half quarts of Shackley performance was his only fuel. <laughs> this was a Superman effort, equivalent to running two nonstop marathons. And this is a world record that has never been beaten. 1988, Shackley Malaysia was established. 1991, Shackley introduced Basic D, the first patented phosphate-free dishwashing powder to preserve the environment. 1992, Shackley product uh, cleaners and personal care products were used in the Biosphere 2, a world-renowned environmental project in Arizona. 1992, Shackley, Mexico was established. 1993, NASA asked Shackley to provide a customized rehydration beverage for sh shuttle astronauts uh, to stop them from passing out when they re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. The famous astronaut Mark Kelly would not go into space without his Shackley supplements. <laughs> and you recognize him from the Space Shuttle, the Endeavor. 1994, the first woman to run across Canada was powered by Shackley's. Joe Wells, a... Some reason it's working on its own. So Joe Wells, 44-year-old woman from Burlington, Ontario, was the first woman to run completely across Canada from island to island 111 days, 14 hours, and 45 minutes, averaging 65 kilometers per day. 1996, Shackley products were chosen by environmental giant Jacques Rousseau on board the Odyssey, a research vessel that gathers data on contaminants in the world's oceans. Now we know he's passed away, but they continue to use Shackley products. In 1998, Shackley introduced Enfusel, an exclusive, revolutionary, anti-aging skincare line backed by eight patents and with clinically proven studies that are unmatched worldwide. In the year 2000, Shackley opened its state-of-the-art world headquarters in Pleasanton, California. And also in the year 2000, Shackley became the first company in the world to obtain climate neutral certification and totally offset its carbon emissions resulting in a net zero impact on the environment. 2002, Shackley received the International Environmental Stewardship Award and the EPA Climate Protection Award. 2003, another environmental effort by Shackley included the conversion of diesel school buses in parts of California to biodiesel buses with low emissions. It's very obvious that this company has, from the very beginning, had a genuine and honest respect of the great creator and has been committed to doing all it could to protect nature and the environment. In 2004, Dr. Shackley's vision for a healthier tomorrow caught the attention of a 39-year-old financial giant, a Yale Law School and Harvard graduate. His purpose was to do well by doing good. He totally embraced Dr. Shackley's philosophy of improving the life and health of everyone he touched without harming the planet. 
He was confident that by purchasing Shackley, he could actively impact a multinational plan to change the health of individuals, the environment, and the economy. In 2004, Roger Barnett, a financial giant, purchased Shackley and became the chairman and CEO. Roger spent $20 million over five years looking for the right company to invest in. He nicknamed Shackley the crown jewel of network marketing. 2005, Roger Burnett was the featured speaker at the White House Conference on Aging, where he spoke to the president and 1,200 other federal leaders. Um, and by the way, that conference only happens every 10 years, so it was pretty cool to be the keynote. 2005, Nutrafiron was introduced, an incredible breakthrough in immune science. Shackley Corporation has the worldwide exclusive rights to market this patented formula. 2008, Vivix was introduced to the world marketplace, a cellular repair product that is stunning the scientific world. Shackley opened in Taiwan, March 2007, and in China in December 2008. They opened in Indonesia in 2011, and the plan is to open in India in 2016. When they open in India, Shackley products will be available to over half of the world population. Shackley has recently applied its decades of research to age-related cognitive decline, and in 2014, just released an amazing product called MindWorks that is truly changing lives. Dr. Shackley built a sustainable business model focused on preserving the health of people and the planet. Roger Barnett has the same vision. So we are so proud of our heritage, and we are very proud that Shackley is a scientific research company that has the largest scientific research team in the world in natural health. This is not just another vitamin company. This is not a company that puts its labels on some other manufacturer's product. This is a company birthed in the healing power of nature that today brings to the marketplace proprietary products in harmony with nature that are always safe, always green, and most importantly, always works. So it's a big milestone.